Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daily Recap on Breaking CPK. What is April 14th, 2017? And boy, oh boy, do we got plenty to talk about here. Uh, really, in these last couple of days of things that have been happening. Hell, even in the last 24 hours, uh, some crazy stuff has taken place. So without further ado, let's go ahead and switch on over to the uh, good old Liquipedia right here, our great, uh, our great resource for checking out all the news and information and results and everything that's been taking place. Uh, first things first, I want to focus on this right here. This was pretty big news that was released uh, basically this morning. I kind of woke up this morning, and I started seeing some tweets along the lines of, I saw a tweet actually from Moon Meander, sure enough, saying, like, thanks for the great times with DC. It was great. We're going to be strong. It was just, you know, one of these, like, as if he had left the team, and I'm just like, holy shit, what's going on, man? What the fuck is happening? Uh, it turns out, obviously, I <laughs> kind of calming things down and kind of looking real quickly, see what the deal was. Um, it turns out that, uh, so there's a couple things here. First off, the original DC team, that was Moo Meander, uh, Soxa, We, uh, Resolution, and Misery, they are no longer a part of DC. They actually dropped from the organization. Now, apparently, this was a mutual agreement. Uh, apparently, this was something that maybe was even in the works for a while. Again, most noticeably, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, maybe even only a week ago, Suns fan actually announced that he was stepping down uh, in his ownership role from uh, from Digital Chaos and from any affiliation whatsoever from DC, from my understanding. So he's no longer a part of the organization, and now we have this move taking place. So it's really curious, to, uh, you know, how these things are kind of lining up. Again, it's being told that it's a mutual agreement, so I – I, I feel like there's something else behind the scenes, but it's one of those, you know, really we, we may just never find out. Whether it's really a big deal in the end, maybe it's not. Let's not, let's not look too much into it. Let's not start creating rumors as far as what's going on. Let's just simply look at what we got. And what we got right now is a team that uh, is leaving, but also a new DC team as a result. So, uh, first off, Misery Resolution Socks that we had Moon Man are no longer part of DC, but they are now forming under the organization Thundercats. Uh, Thunderbirds, excuse me, not Thundercats. Uh, Thunderbirds, actually. So uh, that should be that should be a lot of fun to see how uh, how that name works out for them. Again, whether or not they're going to be picked up by an actual organization, that that's just a name that they're kind of coming up with simply to compete in the Kiev Major coming up. Uh, so on that note, too, yes, of course, they're still in the Kiev Major. I know there's been some confusion maybe uh, for some people. So what does this mean for their spots? Again, they, they, the, Valve doesn't care about the team name, essentially. They care about the players that qualified, which is how it should be, obviously, at least in this case. So... Uh, they're still going. They're just going to be under under the name Thunderbirds now. On the other hand, we have uh, we have the new DC roster. That being Mason, Abed, Bulba, Demon, and Dubu, of course, formerly known as Demonics. And again, it's really interesting here how this is lined up. Now it makes you kind of wonder if this team did not qualify for the Kiev Major, would this be happening? Is this a case of the DC team, uh, the former team, wanted out? and they just want to do their own thing, and DC, maybe they weren't, again, I don't, I don't want to start rumors. I, I really don't want to start rumors, so I, I don't, I don't, maybe I shouldn't even get into that, but uh, simply put, it's just a case of, like, it makes me, it almost has a feel of, like, they weren't kind of letting that happen, slash maybe the players were fine still staying under the team until they got another team that they feel like could replace the organization on the name and represent very well, and th that's what I feel like is happening right here, so, um, with Onyx now going to the Kiev Major and obviously not really having this big brand name in the first place, it makes sense, you know, with this uh, with the team that they pick up. So that's the new DC roster now. Again, they're going to the Kiev Major as well. They'll just be now be known as Digital Chaos instead. So it's it's a little interesting how this is happening again, really just a couple of weeks before the Kiev Major is about to take place. But So to say the least, this was some pretty big roster news. Now, in the big scheme of things, it really doesn't mean too much, obviously. Again, they're all going to be going to the Kev Major. They're just going to be representing different teams, different organizations, whatever you want to call it. So, But I found it very curious that, you know, happening today and figured it was worth, obviously, at least talking about here. So now another event, uh, well, an event. Now let's get into some event results right here. Uh, an event currently going on, uh, well, actually just wrapping up as of this morning, the Manila Major, the Manila Masters, excuse me, Manila Masters, the Southeast Asian Qualifiers, Actually, officially wrapped up today, and Team Faceless ultimately won the grand finals. They had to defeat Mineski in a best of three series. It was tough. Obviously, it went to all three games there, but in the end, Faceless does win it two games to one, and thus they will be representing Southeast Asia of sorts at the main event, which uh, will take place, I believe, in the later part of May, so about a month from the Kiev Major. So, nice, uh, 
Nice timing right there. It's a $250,000 prize pool here. And you see the eight teams that are ultimately going to be going. Obviously, you have the original invited teams, EG, OG, Newbie, Secret, and P, which is kind of interesting now. Speaking of roster situations, of course, they no longer have Rose as well as SVG. So we'll see who they end up replacing that with. And then you got IG, Faceless, and now we need the Philippines qualifier, which actually is set to take place here, I assume, in the near future, right? Like, it has to be coming up here. Uh, sooner than later. So uh, that's going to be curious to see how that plays out. Obviously, TNC has to be the favorites. No doubt, Execration, though, going to be a team to contest. Happy Feet is actually proven they're also a solid team as well. So, But TNC, definitely the favorites here. You'd expect to see them here at the the, uh, the Manila Masters. And I'm sure the people of Phila uh, the Philippines actually would, would be excited for that as well. So uh, that's what's going on with the Manila Masters there. The Starlighter I-League uh, tournament, a new set of qualifiers here. Taking pace, the Chinese qualifiers, number two, actually, it looks like. Uh, Imitation number two, Chinese qualifiers. Well, actually, no, this is the first qualifiers, but uh, season two. Okay, that's what that means. That's what that means. Okay. So this is a $100,000 tournament. This is also set to take place in May. VGJ and Newbie getting invited, and they have to decide on the rest of the teams right here. They're running out of Chinese qualifiers. So it looks like a first-place team from this event is the only one that gets to go, at least for now. I see some results here. Vici versus IG Vitality in the winter finals. You have C Deck versus IG in the losers bracket down here. You got teams like Wings and LFY already knocked out. Wings especially getting knocked out by C Deck and then LFY in the very first set of rounds. This is a team that gotta say, man, Wings has not been having the greatest results going into the Kiev Major. And that has to be of concern for that team and that organization. And this is a team that even got invited. Again, I was very critical of that when the invites did take place. And uh, I wasn't a huge fan of seeing them on there. I get why they were on there. But it feels like that they're not really uh, doing the best as of late. This, I don't want to call them, you know, the one-hit wonder team by any means. I mean, you win TI, it definitely means something. But um, they have not been performing uh, from the Boston Major to events in between to now. So... I, uh, I'm very curious to see how they do at the Kid Major. And hopefully, for their sake, they can bounce back. But things are lining up for them to not do too well. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, point is, they're uh, out of these Chinese qualifiers. So we've got four teams remaining. We'll see which of those four make it on. Again, the Chinese scene, who the hell knows who's going to be making, uh, making it out of there. Uh, another event that's currently going on is the Dota to the Summit 7 qualifiers, currently for Southeast Asia, actually. Uh, these qualifiers are happening a lot earlier than the other ones. The other ones are set to take place next month, I believe. But these ones getting out of the way. Um, you look at the results here. This is actually very interesting because Faceless did not make it out of groups. Neither did Mineski or Fnatic. So, th I mean, that's honestly crazy to me. Like, the fact that none of those three teams even made it out of groups. And instead, you have now Clutch Gamers and Happy Feet are actually meeting up in the Winter Finals. Clutch Gamers defeating WG Unity, and then Happy Feet taking out TNC two games to one. What is going on in these qualifiers? This is definitely shaking up the Southeast Asian scene, I'm sure. Uh, so very curious to see how that plays out and uh, how it uh, how it all flows there. But uh, hell, maybe one of these teams from Southeast Asia they could be representing and going to see a new team out of SEA. Uh, at such a prestigious event, that is the Summit, of course. Again, the other qualifiers not supposed to happen for a while here, so keep an eye on that. And then another l lesser event, but still worth pointing out, is the Pro Dota Cup, of course, currently going on. Just seeing uh, some quick results right here. It looks like uh, Spotnet actually currently in the winter finals. Who the hell is Spotnet? Let's take a glance here and see if the roster recognizes anyone there. What the hell are they? I don't even see Spotnet on this. What the? <laughs> Where the hell is Spot? Oh, there they are. Jesus. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these players. Lebanon, really? Huh, Lebanon and Jordan here. Very interesting. Well, well they took out Comanche. They took out uh, Slice and Dice as a solid team. Cyber Anji, I don't know who they are. So, oh, 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 well then. Okay, that's a solid roster there. That's some experience. So, well, Spotnet may be a team that we have to pay attention to. So, it's always fun for the events like this to kind of see new and up-and-coming teams, of course. So, See how they do. Pro Dota versus Let's Do It is happening. And the winners over there, you got a couple of players here. Exotic Deer definitely come to mind. Double G, Nisha, Elisa. This is a former roster, isn't it? Who were they formerly? This is a former alternate attacks roster. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was like, I definitely recognize all these names here. So this is a former ATN roster. Uh, they'll be playing Pro Dota, which is the new Pro Dota squad, formerly NLG. Got a lot of these transitions happening post uh the, um, the major qualifiers and everything taking place, all the teams that didn't qualify. So uh, we've been seeing that happening here. So 
Uh, but yeah, another event to definitely just pay attention to. But there you go. That pretty much wraps it up, though, for the daily recap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what is April 14th, 2017. Again, I'm Breaky CPK. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time.